Hey everybody, my name is Kids Coding, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we are going to be learning about HTML responsive web design. I didn't know what I was thinking back in middle school, early middle school, because I literally had no clue that I didn't make a video on this. So if you don't know what responsive web design is, it's basically when the browser, um, it resizes so that it can fit your um, needs. So let's say for example, I take an app like Spotify for example. Um, as you see, when I resize the browser, it it changes, like um, everything still fits in. Even though I make it smaller and make it bigger, everything still fits in. Especially because of the fact that it's responsive web design. It's been programmed in that way so that whenever you minimize it or whenever you minimize it or maximize it it will still show all the things and it will still show everything so today i'm going to be teaching you how you can code in html for the responsive web design so i'm going to cut the cam right here and i'm going to pretty much program it myself and yeah okay guys so i am back and i have right here um coded my um website my html web page so right here, I have kind of created a really simple website. Um, if you don't know, I, I'm a really gamer. I love to game. Video games are like my favorite thing to do. Um, I might start a gaming channel soon, so I hope to do something like that in the future. So it'll probably be kids gaming. So I'll link it in the description below whenever I start it. But yeah, be sure to subscribe to that if you like gaming like I do. But anyway, so right here we have created our website, so let's save it. Let me go to my files, and then let's open it. And as you see right here, we made our website. So um, the thing is, is that whenever you um, move it, you see that it will keep on, um, you can still see everything, and it will like change based on what you're looking at. I think the best example for this is the different types of devices there are. So you know that there's a phone, there's a tablet, and there's a computer. So let's say like um, we made the phone, like a phone, phones are usually like this. Yeah, that's usually about a phone. You can still see everything there is on the web page. And that's literally what responsive web design is. So whenever you, whenever you like move the browser, I mean, whenever you minimize, maximize the browser, you were still able to see everything on the website. And that is, once again, what responsive web design is. So yeah, that's for phone. And then for tablet, it's like about that. And then for computer, you can see the whole thing. So you're still able to see the whole website. It just changed it a little differently because of the screen that it's on. So if it's on a smaller screen, then it will probably be like a little different than, um, yeah. So once again, I'm going to show another example through Google Sites because I think Google Sites really shows a good example of responsive web design. So I'm going to cut the cam right here once again, and I'm going to show you an example on responsive web design. Okay, so I just made a simple website. I just put my title on there. So right here, it says preview. You can preview on several different types of devices. There's the phone, there's the tablet, and there's the PC. And here, as you see, it starts to change. Um, let me show text. Let me hyperlapse again, and I'll show you guys what it is. Okay, so right here, I've kind of done this. And um, now, when we preview it, you can see how it looks on all the different devices. You can see that the text is compressed to make sure that it fits on all the devices which is exactly what responsive web design does. So that was a really short tutorial on what um, responsive web design is. What it really is is that it's just, it, you can make a website um, and it looks differently on different devices based on the width and height. And But you can still see everything and it will be shown in a different format based on how it look, how the device is. So if it's a phone, it would look like this. If it's a tablet, it would look like that. If it's a computer, it looks like that. So the text will compress or it will, um, what's the opposite of, I don't know. But yeah, or it will, the text will kind of change so that you can still see all of it 
on the device. So like let's say I had my website I made right here. The text will you the text will find a way, like it will find a way so that you can still be able to see everything that it is shown on here. So that is it for this. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification for when I upload later. And check out my website at kidscoding.com. Also, follow my Instagram at kidscoding. Um, I don't know if many of you probably did that already. But if you haven't already, be sure to follow my Instagram at kidscoding. And I will see you all next time.